What's going on, MD? It's uh, Tank Leverant, IFBB Pro. Milton Martinez, fresh out of Nationals. We uh, came out to Ironworks Gym out here in Florida somewhere. Uh, it's outside of Jacksonville. It's a dungeon-style gym, fun place. Uh, came out here to shoot a video for you guys, hit arms. I'm wishing I would have uh, asked someone else to come with me. This guy's all lean, I'm in off-season, making me feel fat. So, we out here gonna do a little arm workout for you guys. You know, check out the intensity of it, and uh, you know, maybe you guys pick something up. Learn how to lift hard with it. This is Milton Martinez from Orlando. Um, I want to say thank you to Mr. Don Long for hooking me up with IFBB Pro um, Darren and have this workout done for today. Believe me, it's completely different workout what we used to or what I'm used to. It's, it's always good to learn. You never stop learning on this sport. I mean, it's like every day you learn something new. Um, he did completely different exercise, something new. On this gym where we're working out today, or what we're doing this video, it's, it's really nice. It got a lot of weights, something that we don't have in most of the gyms, um, real heavy, heavy weights. All right, so first we started off with a uh, superset, alternating dumbbell curls with a single arm overhead, tricep extensions. This is my arm warm up every every arm day I don't change this mainly you know I do have some pain in my elbows so I really need to get them warmed up but uh, as you can tell just because we're warming up doesn't mean we go easy so it's time to grow now that you know I'm in the 212 class coming up from a lightweight you know I've got still got a ways to go so just gotta train hard train heavy and try to eat big you know so we started with the uh, the warm-up set what we did is four sets back to back non-stop you know, you do the curls, tricep, curls, tricep, up the weight each time. You know, it's pretty intense, good way to get the blood flowing and uh, really to get, you know, set the tone for your workout. All right, Milton, so he just got uh, fresh out of nationals. As you can see from the video, the man's looking crazy. You know, so what, what went on the last week of nationals there? What was it for you? Um, the prep, it was good. I think it was at the end we missed for just a little bit. We miscount the date, I guess, or so, the timing. Yeah. I pick on Thursday instead of Friday. Yeah. That's basically what I think happens, but it's all done. Yeah. We come back fresh and better next yeah. time, so. Yeah, it happens. I think everybody that competes out there knows, you know, the science behind that last week, uh, you know, coming up to the show. And it's easy, easy, you know, to get the timing off. Maybe eat too many carbs, too little, not enough water, too much water. You know, so it's... You know, everyone understands that, but like I said, as you guys can see, you know, I guarantee this guy is going to be a threat coming up the next year, especially now that he's part of Team Long as well with me. So, congratulations on that. I know, I know Don will get you dialed in. You can believe that. So, welcome to the team. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I mean, um, I'm glad, like I said, I'm glad to learn from everybody and get somebody who maybe got more experience and learn something new. I mean, I'm not saying that what I was doing it was wrong. I just say I want to learn something new and maybe he would be the right person to show me something new. You guys, like I said, working out with you, doing this workout, I'll learn something new. So it's more to learn. Yep. So I'm here for that. <laughs> yeah, so everybody out there, look out for this guy, 2014. Um, I've been competing since 2010. I started it with um, Southern USA, I think it was, in Fort Lauderdale. I got second on the Open, um, first on the Masters over 40. And then from there I went to uh, Masters Nationals in 2011. I got third on over 40s, light heavyweight. Then from there I went to Puerto Rico, did a couple of shows local over there, win them all. Um, after that, uh, 2012, we went to North America, I placed, I think, 15. Then I went to uh, Team College Masters again, and I placed 13. Um, I went to the Central American and Caribbean that it was made on Puerto Rico. Um, that's another IFBB Pro Shows. And I placed uh, first in my class, and then I placed third in the overall. First and second in the overall, we get the Pro Card. So I just missed it. And then from there, I've been competing everywhere. And then um, I was getting ready for the uh, Team U this year, that it was on the 4th of July weekend. 
and a week before my mom passed away so I couldn't, she was in Puerto Rico and passed away so I couldn't make it to that one. Then I followed my prep to the nationals that I just did like two weeks ago, a week ago. And that was my last show for the year. So now let's see what we got coming for next year. I'm already qualified for next year. So I don't have to requalify for nationals. That's a good thing. So now we're just gonna see what we put together and maybe do one or two shows in 2014 to see if I can get the pro card. All right, so next we moved on to the uh, overhead tricep extensions, just the seated, you know, with two hands, started at the hundreds. Of course, you know, rep that out 20, 30 times just to, again, get, you know, feel, get the feel for it. I like to, you know, for arm days, as you saw, the first warm up was both biceps and triceps. Now this is just the tricep. I like to mix it up. Sometimes I'll superset both at the same time. Sometimes I'll go heavy with just triceps or just biceps. And uh, this time we just, you know, decided to go with the triceps this time. There's not really a set game plan. We just come in here and, you know, try to lift heavy, work on our weak areas. And uh, started with the 100s, went to 120s, and, uh, you know, just repped it out from there, get a good stretch. You know, this is one of my favorite exercises I feel to build the, uh, build the triceps, just get them nice and thick. You know, for bodybuilders like us, we can go pretty heavy with it, with, you know, using the two hands overhead. So the problem is a lot of gyms really don't have enough weight, especially not the gyms where I come in from in Naples. You know, there's, there's not many that go up to the 150s plus where we could really get some good heavy sets. And, you know, I, that's what me and Milton were talking about. I think he's got the same problem, you know, where he's training. They only go up to, what, the 120s or something? Yeah, 125. Yeah, 125. So, you know, at that point, it's, you know, we're doing sets of 20. 25 just to really get them get them burned out and get them good which you know that works that works as well you know everyone's different you it's not just you know high weight low reps I prefer high weight high reps you know lift heavy and lift it as much as you can so I think that's the best way to grow but you know it's, it makes it a lot easier when you have the right equipment you know for the for the uh, exercise and luckily here at this uh, this uh, Ironworks gym they got everything you could ever imagine here this place is crazy so it's, it's good that we came here all right, so next uh, we went back to a superset for uh, buys and tries at the same time. We started with some uh, cable curls. We put them, up, put them up high. I specifically like to stand forward in, in this movement, you know, to really help stretch, uh, you know, get the, get the rotation backwards for the rear double bicep. For that specific shot, you know, when you, when you step forward out of the, uh, from the cables, it, it'll help pull your arms back. You know, it just, it just helps set you up. You get that feel for the rear double bicep. So that's, it's one of my, you know, one of my favorite uh, bicep moves just for that reason. You know, it gets you comfortable for your, for your rear poses. And then from there, we went uh, super set it straight to the tricep push down. And if you're noticing in when I'm doing them and even what I showed Milton, you know, a lot of guys come up to 90 degrees with their elbows and stop and go back down. And it works well. And, uh, you know, I feel it targets most of my tricep down I feel it down more towards my elbows. So what I like to do, I'll actually let my arms go up. I'll keep my arms at 90, but let, them, let the arms go up, pull them back down before I straighten them out. And I can really feel it, you know, the top part of my tricep right there near my shoulder. And, uh, you know, I don't know all the specific muscle group names, this and that, you know, I'm not a doctor, but just it's what I feel. So that's what I do. And, uh, you know, it seems to work well. My, I've really been working on my triceps. They've always been full, but I really need to bring out the, uh, the separation so I'm, you know, trying to squeeze at the bottom as well. You know, it's a whole nother world against the guys that I'm going up against now. So I need to start training like it, you know, even harder. So I like to change it up. And if I can feel it, you know, I, that's how I do it. All right, now we move on to uh, another fun one that I like to throw on some guys that come work out with me. I don't, you know, you can't do it alone. You have to have a workout partner. So when someone's with me, I'll throw it on them. You know, it's, it's a lightweight move. We only grab the thing is only like 40 pounds. But trust me, that 40 pounds feels like 200 by the fifth set. So what we do is just uh, stand close, straight bar curls, sets of 15, just hand it back and forth, 15. I gave it to Milton, 15, gave it back. We did that for five sets. Then uh, the sixth set, we turned around and did a reverse grip curl, you know, just to hit a different part of the bicep, get a little forearms in there. But it's a killer. Anyone that's at home watching, I dare you to go try it. With 40s or 50s, get your friend with 40s or 50s and your arms will be done by the end of that workout. Now this uh, last exercise is just a, again a, a single exercise for the triceps. It's a nose breaker. I do it on the flat bench. You know I've done nose breakers with the, the curl bars and stuff but 
it sort of feels no different than if I've got the the bent bar you know on a tricep push down so I started going to the flat bench and and doing nose breakers with the the flat the straight bar and it, re it really you know hits the part of the tricep that I don't feel a lot on the inside up high so you know I've started doing that I like to stick with it now it's really I can put the weight up on it we started with 135 went up to 185 and uh, you know I know it looks crazy 185 nose breakers on the bench but you know they're they're a little bit easier than you think so uh, you know they they really feel like they can uh, blow your triceps up you know they really feel like you can feel the the whole tricep working feels great you know it's one thing that I if I don't if I don't throw it in with a superset sometimes I'll superset it with you know a a hammer curl or something but this time since we had already supersetted our buys and tries we uh, just did this by itself just went heavy with it and uh, went till failure because it was our last our last uh, set for the for the day so we just killed it all right you know first I'd like to thank uh, MD of course for letting us film this video putting it out there you know we like to get out there show you guys what we're doing you know see how we're coming along you know you guys know that I you know won the lightweights at USA's now it's the 212 class and a lot of people don't believe in a lightweight coming to the 212 class, but you know, don't believe me, just watch. That's what they say anyway. So I'm going to do my best and uh, just again want to say thank you to MD for the opportunity, Ironworks Gym, you know, uh, Team Long. I want to thank Don and Sarah, you know, for everything they've done for us. And I uh, want to thank some of my sponsors, uh, PHN, they're a nutrition store out of Naples, you know, great people out there. They have an app, like I mentioned before. And, uh, you know, go on there, free shipping, all that stuff. They, got, they carry great stuff. They always take care of me. So thanks to them. Again, uh, you know, thanks to, the, thanks to the wife. Thanks to the kids. You know how it is. It's a, it's a team effort. So just appreciate everybody. And, I, and everybody out there watching, thanks for watching. Well, I want to thank MD for giving us the opportunity again to shoot another video. Um, also, I want to thank uh, my wife. Always be supporting me be my backbone, always pushing me to the limit, always taking care of me, and be happy to have my wife and my kids. My kids is kind of involved in the same sport too. I don't like them to do bodybuilding, but they involved in the same sport. So, like I say, um, I want to thank everybody, all the guys in Puerto Rico who always back me up when I need the help, um, all the people, you know. I just want to tell them um, thank you and we be back soon.